hello everyone welcome back to the next video in this video i will show you how to integrate facebook login for react native's new architecture now this would be only for android like i have done the integration for ios as well but for some reason or the other it is not working for me i don't know why but yeah anyways i'll show you the steps what i have done it for android so first day i'll show you the output uh, so i'll just remove all this stuff because i want to mirror my device okay not this so as you can see on the screen here is my uh, running app so it just has one login button which is the facebook button and if i click on login it will just open a web view because i don't have a facebook app install i don't use facebook uh, so here you can see it you it uh, opens the web view and i have already signed in uh, with my facebook account for this particular app so that's why it is telling me it is not asking me for cred credentials it is just telling me continue as this particular user i'll just click as continue and here you can see the button automatically changes to log out and if i show you my uh, uh, metro bundler here you can see these are the all the details which i am printing uh, so this is the uh, user this is the profile id for some reason the email is not getting printed i think it is not supported out of the box by the library which i am using and this is the first name so anyways uh, let's get started so first what you will have to do is you will have to go to uh, to this particular thing uh, developers.facebook.com slash apps okay so you will have to go over here now for the very first time if you go to developer.facebook.com uh, of obviously you would require facebook account so you will have to log in with facebook account but uh, for the very first time it also asks you to verify your mobile number so if it asks you uh, do enter the valid details then as you can see i have already created this app but i will show you how to create a new app from scratch as well so you will just have to click on create app okay now here uh, i'll just click on next here just click on authenticate and request data from users with facebook login click on next here you can enter your app name so i'll just enter as my app dummy okay i'll click on next and this should be fine just click on create app it will ask you for your password i'll enter my password and i'll click on submit once this is done uh, the important thing which you have to do is you will have to go to use cases and over here you will have to click on this customize because as you can see it only allows for public profile for now but here you will have to add email as well in case if you want it i want it so i'll add it but again this email property is not available for the uh, uh, for the library which i'm using which i will show you in a bit so here you can see email has also been added now uh, we'll go to this particular library so i have created one uh, react native project so just create a default react native project then let's see what this library tells us okay firstly we will have to install it so you can just run this particular command now this supports the new architecture as far as i know at least it supports an android i'm not really sure for ios because ios part is not working for me so to enable new architecture for android you just have to search for new arc enabled it should be present inside gradle.properties and you have to make this as true if you want to enable the new architecture for ios as well you will have to open your terminal cd to this particular ios directory which we have and then you will have to run this particular command so this will enable the new architecture for uh, ios then uh, we will have to install this particular library so just run this particular command i have already run this command as you can see inside package.json so i have already installed this next to do uh, pod install uh, for new architecture we can't just run uh, pod install we have to run this particular command so you, again you will have to cd to your ios directory and make sure you run this uh, command so this do pod install uh, for the new architecture all right once this is done so we are already done with this 
now coming back to the configuration of android part so here is our so uh, now go to this particular link uh, scroll down and here you will have to select your app so i will just select the app which i, I have created so this even though i have created this new app but original app is of mine is this so i'll just select that okay then uh, we don't really need to do this this is handled by the library which we are using so we don't need to do this but we need to do this okay so what you'll have to do is go to android app src main res values in case if strings.xml file is not present make sure you create this file and you write something like this so you would require an app name so i have just copy pasted it from the doc so here you can see facebook app id protocol scheme and client token so make sure you add this facebook app id protocol scheme and cam now this value for you will differ so for that you can just go to your whatever app you have created so suppose this is our app and then you'll have to go to app settings basic and here is your app id so just copy this app id and you will have to paste it over here now for this also we have to paste the app id but make sure we append fb uh, characters before appending the app id so fb whatever followed by whatever is our app id and this is our app id next uh, this is our for client token go to advanced section and scroll down and here is our client token so just copy it and paste it over here okay so this is done as well uh, next okay uh, go to this here we have to add this metadata tag so just copy this met to metadata tags and then you will have to go to uh, android android manifest.xml and here you can see i have added this to metadata tags so just copy paste it uh, then we have to add this facebook activity as well as custom tab activity again copy paste this all code and here you can see that i have added this facebook activity as well as custom tab activity so uh, again copied it from the docs then we have to add internet permission and i want to opt out of advertising id permission so i, I will also copy this and here you can see i have added both of this permission internet permission as well as this opt out of the ads permission okay then uh, we have to add your package name so for that you will have to go to build.gradle uh, and here you can see your package name just copy this and paste it over here i have already done that and then we require access to the main activity so for most of you it would be whatever is your package name dot main activity in case if you want to see it would be over here so whatever is your package name dot your active main activity name so for me it is dot main activity for most of you it would be main activity then just click on save then we have to run this particular command now here is the tricky part we can't directly run this command because uh, in react native uh, if you see if i just show you the uh, debug uh, not not debug uh, let me just check so x so downloads rn app android app android app so here you can see the deep uh, the debug dot key store for react native app is already present over here but if you see this particular command it is telling us to uh, use the debug dot key store which is present globally inside our app so for react native app this command would be uh, like only this path is incorrect according to me but for native android or for flutter app this is correct so all you have to do is just run this particular command which i am showing it to you so over here as you can see key tool export certificate alias this is a default name then this is the important part where exactly is your app located so my app react native app is created inside the downloads folder uh, so this is my project and inside that android app debug dot key store so make sure you enter your own path and rest everything would be same so this enter this then it might ask you for password you have to run this command in a terminal so it might ask you for password so the password is just android and click enter if you are doing a release apk then you will have to change all this value so the alias name the key store path as well as the, it would be release key store and the whatever password you set and then you will get some values value so ignore if you are using windows you will have to use this command 
okay and for release key hash you can see this is the command so whatever value you get from your terminal just paste it over here and click save uh okay then uh, we don't need to copy this so this is already handled by this particular library which we are using so if you see i have just imported it uh, access token we don't require a graph request we don't require settings uh so here as you can see i have just taken the access token and over here uh i have just created this login button and once you click on the login button you don't have to write your own click or touchable opacity that is handled internally by the login button and on login finished is called uh, in case of any error i'm just logging it to the console but once we get an access token with the help of that you can fetch the profile details so here you can see i'm just printing out the user id name as well as the first name and on logout finished again you can i'm just doing console log and for permission i'm just passing public profile as well as email so i'm not really sure why we are not able to fetch email because when i try to integrate with native android application using the native facebook sdk i can get the email on uh, android as well but i think this is a shortcoming of this library i guess now for the ios part again ios is not working for me uh, but anyways i'll just show you the ios part as well so you again you have to come to this particular link select your app so i'll just select this particular app okay sorry this is my app huh? now uh, we don't need to do this this is handled internally by this particular library so ignore this ignore this here you will have to enter your bundle id so you can just open uh, xc workspace and whatever is your bundle id a bundle identifier enter it over here then inside info.plist we have to add all this code so just copy this code and if i show you my ios uh, sorry in rn app info.plist so here you can see i have copy pasted this but again you will have to replace this with facebook with your app id and this should be fb followed by whatever is your app id and this should be your client token same what we have used it on android side so just copy paste this and here you can write your display name of your app uh, then we have to copy this bit of code so just copy paste over here so i have just copy pasted it uh, this entire part all right then we have to add this keychain sharing so for that i'll quickly open my app uh, ios folder xc workspace Uh, in the meantime i will show you rest of the code so ignore this all of this code for now then again we have to go to this documentation so here we have to add this uh, this code to app delegate.m file so if i go to ios app delegate.mm here you can see i have added all this code okay then uh, what it says is we have to add this inside finish did finish launching with option so i have added this okay and next uh, here it also says that you have to override this method open url so i have also done that uh, then here it says this art art city linking manager i'm not really sure if this is necessary or not but yeah i have just added this uh, and i have also added this bit of code as well uh, now this entire thing is the troubleshooting part like i'm not really sure do we require this or not i'll just add it i don't think this is required for android but anyways i'll just i think this is for ios so i'll just add it okay uh all right also if you check over here go to your rn app and over here you will have to add this capability of keychain sharing so just click on capability search for keychain sharing i have already added it so that's why it is not showing it to me again so i just add keychain sharing uh, if you want i'll quickly run this app uh, is there anything else i think that should be it so let's just wait till the app is built for ios and i will show you what exact error i am facing
so okay the build is successful let's just wait for the emulator to boot up simulator i mean Okay, so it's still booting. So here you can see the app just crashes over here as you can see like I have tried checking this online I couldn't find any solution for it. So in case if you have any solution do let me know in the comments. So these are all the things which I am getting an error for uh, but yeah something related to permissions I guess but I have added permissions so I am not really sure what this issue is again this is the most tricky part like of integrating third party HDK or library in react native like you get unknown errors which is very difficult to debug but anyways that's it thank you for watching bye